So rather than me just talk about the applications, I actually want to have the opportunity to share them with you. So I'm going to introduce Nigel Thompson to join me on the stage. Nigel has, uh, is our VP of uh, Product Management and User Experience. I'm going to get it wrong. And the reason why, you know, one interesting thing we did last year is we were looking at optimizing the good organization. Nigel's been with Good for a number of years and has been running the user experience team. And one of the things we did last year was we actually merged the user experience and the product management team so that design was becoming a bigger part of the conversation within the good experience. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to let you take them through uh, what good looks like. Thanks, Christy. Uh, thanks very much. I'm very excited to be here. Um, so we want to talk about the new good. And uh, you know, Christy identified some of the big themes that had to be fast and beautiful and built on good dynamics, uh, which is easier said than done, right? So. So when we, when we um, started working on this probably over a year ago, um, you know, the original functional requirement was, OK, take good for enterprise that you have today and wrap it in good dynamics so we can take advantage of the, the platform. And uh, we decided that we thought, yes, we'll do that. Uh, but let, let's take a moment and uh, have a little bit of a think and you know, talk to our customers, talk to our users, and uh, make sure we're actually solving the right problems. So um, with this iteration of the product, we, we spent quite a bit of time literally sitting in a back seat of users. We worked with some big insurance companies, and the, they're a good example because they're naturally mobile. So we're sitting in the back seat, and we're watching them drive around um, using laptops, I repeat, driving around using laptops and uh, tablets and uh, iPhones and Android devices, and they got printers. And, and, and really, when you, when you watch them, um, all they were trying to do was be productive. They're just trying to do their job, and they're just trying to be successful. So the productivity aspect was a really big component for us. It's something that we, we had to focus on. But when, when, we, when we observed them, we also noticed that there were some themes that were going on. And one of them was that a lot of the stuff they were doing was around people. So if you think about that for a second, it was around people. But then if you pick up a mobile device, any mobile device today, most of the applications are, are, are functional. They're, they're specific about, oh, I do email, I do IMs, I do whatever. But in reality, the typical problem you're trying to solve is it's, it's information about a particular person. So why do we hide that information in all these different apps? Is there a way that we could bring it together? So that was one of the things. The other one was really around speed. Um, you know, we, we heard from you guys, which is like, you know, we love your app, we love the security, it's really great, but when I uh, download it from the App Store and I put it on my device for the very first time, and I touch it, um, I can go off and have a cup of tea and then eat something and then come back and check on it, then I'll go away. So, so we, we recognize and we heard from you guys that the speed needs to be um, addressed, so it needs to be a lot faster. So before we did anything else, we wanted to make sure that from a plumbing and a functional standpoint that we could fix it. So rather than me just talk about it, we put together a little video, and uh, we'll show it to you. And the video is the, the good for enterprise that's available today in the App Store, and, uh, and the new good. And we just put them side by side, just to make sure that we're actually solving the right, the right problem. So we're going to play the video. And this is, this is two same devices. They've both got you know, the good for enterprise and the new good on it. And it's the initial prov provisioning, so they've never been run before. And uh, one of the things we're doing with the new good is easy activation. So you'll notice I'm putting a pin in my other one, which is the normal method. With the new method, you don't need to put in a pin. And right now, it's using Good Dynamics. So Good Dynamics actually has some more advanced um, provisioning capabilities, so it's a lot faster. I set up my email service on the new good. And then approximately, I don't know, seven or eight seconds later, I've got all my email. So less than a minute, um, you, you're, you're at productivity. So that was, a big, that was a big jump for us. And comparatively with um, you know, the existing good, um, you know, the existing good, we've made a lot of improvements on speed. Um, but the new one's just tremendously faster. Um, we're looking at almost 2x faster for just the initial experience. Uh, easy activation was something great that we could take advantage of. If you're not familiar with it, it's um, once you've downloaded your first good app, um, it becomes the delegate, and every other app that you load just gets activated through that app, which we think is pretty cool. Um, it sounds easy. It took us about a year to build it. We filed some patents around it. Um, it's, a, it's a really great piece of underlying technology. Um, the other reason that the email came in a, a lot faster is we wanted to take advantage of some of the no native protocols. We've got to maintain the security model. 
So we're using good dynamics for the security, but we're able to get the email a lot faster to the mobile device, which we think is pretty cool. So now, Nigel, uh, for an initial device activation, that's great. But one of the challenges that you know I call you guys a lot about is uh, Let's assume I have a device that I don't use unless I'm traveling, so I haven't picked it up in a week or so. I pick it up, and the first time I launch it, I'm sitting there waiting for it to catch up to everything I've done since the last time I touched it. So mm -hmm. what am I going to see when I pick the device up with the new good? What are you going to see? Well, um, and I hear you. Um, we, we call. <laughs> <laughs> That's always the right starting answer. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you loud and clear, Christy. Uh, yes, that was, uh, um, that was like the vacation. I, I know you don't take vacations, but um, if you did take a vacation, that was a vacation scenario. You pick up the iPad and you click on it. And, uh, and the way, you know, it's much like BlackBerry. We sort of keep everything in a queue and we start working it through the queue and it can take a while. So with the new good, you'll get the emails you care about uh, immediately. Um, so we did solve that problem for you. So uh, what I'll do now is rather than just uh, keep, keep talking about it, I'm going to... Uh, jump on my device, and we're going to have a little look and see. Uh, let's turn up that a little bit. I'm assuming you guys cannot see my device. Let's try that again. OK, so I've got the new good. We say, right, car crashes and demos? That's right. By the <laughs> way, this is, this is all live. There's, no, there's, there's, there's a whole bunch of beta apps we're running right now and servers and things like that. We're, we're living on the edge at Good, and we're going to show you the real stuff. So I need to authenticate. So rather than uh, putting in an alphanumeric passcode, I'm going to use a biometric authenticator. So this is, um, we didn't build this, by the way. This is built by a partner uh, called iVerify. And um, what I just did was the equivalent of a 50-digit alphanumeric with special ca characters pin. Um, and I didn't have to remember it, which is awesome, because um, I'm not, <laughs> I would never remember that. Um, so, so some of the other things that you can see is, um, you know, we, we, we're grabbing pictures, right? You know, we talked about people, you know, let's be a little bit more people-centric, so we've got the photos. We're pulling that as a service uh, from Active Directory. And uh, you'll also notice that there's uh, presence. Um, so how are we doing that? So uh, when, we, when we built the application, one of the things that we, um, you know, our architecture team, we got, uh, Peter Barker, SVP of engineering, is here. One of the things we didn't want to do is just, just build it as like a hardwired application. We wanted to, as we build things, make them available to others, whether it's ISVs or to yourselves. So the first thing we do before we even start building on the app is we actually build these services, and it's part of our new lightweight architecture. You hear us talk about something called a good enterprise uh, mobility server. That's our new lightweight app server, and everything just runs as a service on the app server, so email's a service, and presence is a service. So we've hooked into uh, to Link, and we're actually grabbing their status, and we're displaying it in our app. And we're gonna show you in a little bit that it's not just our app, it can be available in any app. So uh, let's have a little bit of a look, so we can uh, drill in, and it's a modern application, we've got all the stuff that we care about. Um, we've got this new little, there's a red dot here, you might be wondering what that is, I'm just moving it around. Um, we're introducing the idea of this universal launch pad. And what that is, is it's a place you go to get work done. And uh, this, is, this is, you know, when you're working, you know, you're, you're kind of doing one thing, and you're like, oh, no, wait, I need to go and do this other thing. So we're going to make this available in any app, not just good app, but any good dynamics app if you want to bring in this universal um, component. So I can, you know, go in, I can see my calendar, um, you know, I can slide around like, like you would expect me to do. Um, you can drill in. One of the things I like is, um, you know, for example, I can see how many people are required. I can just expand it, and I can see those people. People, I can see the status. I can see Peter. I could just start a chat session. So it doesn't really matter where I am. I can just keep, keep moving around. I keep being productive. So something else we'll show you, you see that there's, a, there's some apps there as well. And uh, I'm super excited about Salesforce One. Uh, Salesforce is a, is a little bit of a different, different approach for us. We, we partnered with Salesforce, and we worked with their engineers, and we came, came up with a with a, a, a Salesforce application um, that's been uh, secured by Good. And uh, I'll, sh I'll give you a little look at it. And so um, this, is, this is my feed. So I've got my, my uh, business contacts who are publishing information. I can go in. I can look at my dashboards. 
And this is a native UI. This is the, if you downloaded Salesforce One, this, is, this will feel almost exactly the same. I've got my dashboards. We've got tons of cool information. I'm actually not a sales guy, so I really don't know what any of this stuff means, but it looks cool. I know what it means. Christy knows what it means. <laughs> I think if things go up, that's good. Well, that looks like it's going down. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, we need to have a chat, mate. Um, I've got contacts. And uh, some of the things that are a little bit different uh, from, the, from, the, um, from the app that you would get uh, fr from the, the Play Store or from, uh, you know, from, from the Apple Store is that when I'm looking at a particular contact, normally if I have to go email them, it would then open up my native, like if I was using this device, it would open up my native um, you know, email client, it will say, hey, this is uh, Nigel at iCloud.com, right? And it's not, it's not very professional. It doesn't have the information that's, in, that's important. So when I click on uh, email, if I was emailing that contact, it's actually going to open up a secure compose, um, which is important. So that way, all the, all the business data is going through the proper business systems. It's not getting routed out or anything like that. Looks like I got an email. Let's go check that out. I'm going to go back to my new good, and uh, Christy has actually sent me an email. Let's have a look at it. And uh, if you didn't know, there's a lot of interesting corporate stuff going out good. Apparently, there's a board meeting coming up, and Christy would like me to present a document, so I'm going to check it out. And actually, her question was, uh, what, what numbers should we use? Which activation data? By the way, it goes up, so that's good. Um, <laughs> So to me, I know exactly which one to do. So I need to respond to her. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save it as a web clip. And um, so what I did, I just took a screenshot. I was in my browser, and I took a screenshot. And, um, and now it's in another app. And it was sort of seamless. It just sort of just happened. And uh, you know, we all know that apps can talk to each other. You know, Apple announced on Monday that they're going to have this sort of services thing. And, um, and that's really a key point is, is the services, is what app can provide other services to other apps. So we actually built this in from day one. And what, what I'm demonstrating right now is an app to app service. And this, this app is an app called Notate. It's a note-taking app that interfaces with Outlook and Exchange. And um, they, they built a service. They knew we were doing this good exchange, and they've been using our services architecture. And they said, hey, we want to be in good exchange. What can, you know, we, we've got some good ideas. We think we want to create some services. Like, OK, whatever. And then uh, two days later, they go, we did it already. And it's available for good access. And we're like, oh, that's cool. So we go into good access, and there it is. It just magically appears. And the cool thing about it is it's, it's secure. It's secure and that you guys, IT, can actually manage what services you want to ma make available for, the, for other apps. So anyway, we'll keep going with the demonstration. I'm just going to, uh, Christy's very visual, so I'm going to let her know that this is the one to use. I need pictures. Is that what you're saying? I need pictures? <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> so uh, I'm going to share it with her. So I would hit my share icon. I could email it, but in this case, I click good share. And, uh, and in the background, it just goes ahead and actually just saved it to, to good share. So I'm done. So that was easy. So what I'll do is just to finish up, I'll go back and I'll let Christy know I've been a good boy and I did what she said and uh, uh, I saved it to on the share drive and I'm putting it on a, we have a place, uh, this is, we have our own SharePoint system at, at Good and I'm actually using it live by the way, even though it's in California, it's just saving it live and I'm just going to let her know I put it on our shared P drive and I hit send and that's it, I'm done. All right. So imagine a world where I'm not standing five feet away from you. And you can see that I just got uh, an email from Nigel. He responded back. So I go back into G3. Sorry, G3 is what we called it internally. I'm having a hard time yeah. resetting my, uh, the good application. Um, you can see that Nigel sent a note back, said uh, that it's on the P drive. And as he described, he, you know, we're not, this is not a uh, shared uh, storage service that we're creating. We're allowing you to actually use and access the storage services you already have provisioned within your enterprise, whether they're cloud or local. So he says it's on the share drive. I'm going to use my little uh, launch pad that Nigel showed you earlier. I'm going to bring it up. You can see documents. So that's going to take me back to my file repository. As Nigel said, this is the actual uh, SharePoint uh, for the company. So I will make sure I click on the right one. Um, and here is the link that Nigel was sending to me with the big circle around it that says, 
Uh, these are the activation numbers that we're going to be using for the board meeting. So that looks excellent. Um, you know, I need to uh, let Nigel know what uh, day and what time the board meeting is because I'd like him to actually come. So I'm going to launch an application called BoardPad. So BoardPad is another uh, app from our ecosystem, um, clearly designed for board members. You can see I have a number of uh, meetings coming up. I can assure you now we're not looking at real data, just FYI. So I see cameras coming <laughs> out. <laughs> not Live data, yes. Real data, no. OK, so I'm going to go into the board meeting. Um, this must be uh, California time because it says the, uh, we're going to start covering the minutes at 7 p.m., which is uh, probably a, a, a U.S. time zone. Uh, but I want to let him know what time he needs to be there. So you can see I'm seeing the map. I can see uh, all of the features of BoardPad. And if I slide over, I can see all of the people that are invited to that board meeting. And you can see Nigel at the bottom, and he's green. So where Nigel spoke earlier about our services-driven architecture, where we're exposing services across any good Dynamics application, BoardPad is actually leveraging that and taking advantage of that same enterprise service that we're using within our application. So you can see Nigel is green at the bottom because he's online. And I can start a chat session with him directly from there and just say, <laughs> OK. That's a configuration. If you, we, we set it to five flips. You can set it to 20 if you like. No. So. <laughs> you know, we're, <laughs> we're, by the way, very excited about yeah. Apple's uh, exposing peer-to-peer -peer services, because yeah. hopefully we're, we're going to be able to get rid of a, a bunch of those. Um, looks good. Be there at 2. So now Nigel knows what time he needs to come and present the activation data. All right. Look at that. OK. I'm a slow typer. There we go. And that's it. So that's, uh, that's uh, the new good. And uh, we just showed you a few things. We showed you working with a lot of different applications, not just our applications, other applications. Um, I, I was showing it on my iOS uh, device, um, but it also uh, works on my Samsung device as well. So uh, we've built, we're building these simultaneously. So every feature that I'm showing you is available uh, on Android as well. And we're super excited about it. Um, you know, it, actually, we're so excited about it, we're actually going to let you play with it. So this month, we're going to make it available as a beta program. So you can actually talk to some of your uh, good account people, and they can help set, up, uh, set you guys up so you can start trying it out. So uh, that's the, the new good. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.